Hi, this is Luke from NGN, and today we're going to talk about God Strike. God Strike's a brand new game in the twin stick bullet hell action shooter genre, uh, brought to the world by the Overpowered team and published by Freedom Games. We're going to give you our impressions thus far of God Strike. Those impressions are going to be broken down into four parts. First of all, the story. Was it interesting, engaging enough to keep us around? The voice acting and sound, was there any voice acting? How's the soundtrack? Does it amp us up, make us feel good? Does it fit in with the theme of the game? Then we're gonna move on to gameplay. How does the game feel to play? Is it interesting mechanically? Are mechanics introduced in an easy to understand way? Does it feel satisfying to pull off when you play well? We'll see. Then the X factor. The X factor for God Strike is going to be accessibility. Bullet hell shooters aren't for everyone. If you're not a fan of the genre or you're inexperienced with the genre, are you gonna be able to pick up God Strike and actually enjoy the game and have fun? You wanna know? Stick with us and find out. Like I mentioned in the intro, God Strike is the bullet hell twin stick shooter from the Overpower team and Freedom Games. The player will face off against evil deities in order to lead the protagonist through the story and weed out the corruption that has poisoned the world. Talal, the player-controlled hero, can be augmented with a huge variety of spells and passives. Abilities that create weapons that will automatically attack the boss the player is fighting, to abilities that augment your natural shooting ability, or even ones that will defend the player and destroy projectiles. But the sheer level of combinations that are possible between the abilities to choose from combined with the passive to choose from is mind-bogglingly huge. It's enormous. There are so many combinations that you can pick from or even create. It's incredible. So, moving on. These are the MGN impressions of the Mask God driven story that is God Strike. Our experience with the game is based on the PC Steam version played with a control pad. As such, if you're playing the Switch version or playing via Steam with a keyboard and mouse, your experience might be different from ours. The MGN impressions are broken down, as I mentioned in the intro, into four parts. Story, sound, gameplay, X Factor. X Factor, for our impressions, will change from game to game. But for God Strike, we've decided to go with accessibility. Will the game be accessible enough to players who are new or aren't fans of the bullet hell genre in general? Want to find out? Like I said earlier, if you stick around, you will. Okay, moving on to the first point, the story. We've given the story a 9 out of 10. The Thorn of the Poor, for most bullet hell games, it there is really much purpose playing those beside from the base level of gameplay. You evade the boss, you deal damage, that's about it. You progress through. Okie doke. Where God Strike marks its difference from other entries in the series, or not so much the series, but the genre, is that it has a genuinely well-crafted story. I'm gonna say that again. God Strike has a story. Unlike some other entries in the genre, there's a purpose here. Without giving too much away, I will say that the introductory cinematic gives enough purpose and interest to the player that they are loath to sort of skip any later implications of that lore. This is a really good drawing point. Not only are you here for the gameplay or from the curiosity of what you've seen about God Strike Online, you're given enough early to be invested in seeing the game through. That's a good point. 9 out of 10. Sound. Uh, 7 out of 10. First off, let me say, the soundtrack fits the game so well. It's harrowing and foreboding in places where you would expect that and exhilarating in moments where you would expect that. The lack of a 10 out of 10 rating has absolutely nothing to do with the soundtrack. It's of the highest quality and execution and has made for excellent background noise whilst writing and recording this review. You can look it up on YouTube, give it a listen. Look, even if you're not a huge fan of sort of uh, listening to games in the background or as an experience in general, I highly recommend it. Give the soundtrack a listen. It's just really, really well executed and enjoyable. What lets the sound department down is how good that opening cinematic is. It's really well done, but the lack of an appropriate voice to match that text is a bit of a letdown. My mind goes to a voice sort of like Galadriel narrating, narrating that opening exposition. The addition of that sort of 
hauntingly beautiful and smooth buttery voice would bring that cinematic to life and it would give the, the the sound some quality to match the video and the story the story and the video quality are there it just feels a bit empty without that narration from someone like that moving on gameplay we've given that a 10 out of 10 that's right one zero out of one zero instantly when you drop in a god strike you know you're getting what the game promised there is no mixing about that this is a bullet hell shooter simple as that you don't have to wean yourself in you don't have to get a feel of what you should be doing as soon as you drop in that is exactly what you feel like you're playing and that's a pass mark for us for gameplay wise like there are no surprises or awkward adjustments so what takes god strike from just a pass mark to a 10 out of 10 a few things first it has a tutorial room that is a great idea the player can experiment with abilities and ability setups the game mechanics like the souls you have to collect and more that's a great gameplay decision from the developer the tutorial room check next like i mentioned in the intro there are just so many different ways you can play this game the ability and passing setups that are possible uh, there's so many it's ridiculous and it provides so much variety of how you can play the game from attempt to attempt it keeps you coming back it keeps you coming back you can experiment with xyz setup against this boss and it not work against the next one and vice versa the, <laughs> there's just so much experimentation to be had here next gameplay wise why we're giving it a 10 continue the health is a timer timer is health gimmick that god strike has going on it provides something different it gives the player a fresh experience even if they play bullet hell games often and that's a very good thing because if you're heavily experienced with games like this it can hard for one it can be hard for one game to feel different to the next but here it does there's a point of difference and that's great okay so that's why we've given it 10 out of 10 moving on to the x factor we've given the x factor the accessibility of god strike an 8 out of 10. Would I say it's accessible? I would say yes. I would say it's very accessible. How can I say that? Because bullet hell games aren't my cup of tea, nor do I have a huge amount of experience with them. But I find myself being drawn back to God Strike. Wanting to play the game in my own personal time without recording or preparing for an article, that means the draw is there and the accessibility for someone like me is there too. And it, it may just be there for you as well. So, if you're on the fence because you're not the biggest fan of the genre, or you don't have as much experience as you do with other genres, give God Strike a go. You might be very pleasantly surprised. That's just going to be cut it for our first impressions of God Strike. Um, if you have anything to add or feel like we've missed something out, let us know down below. But for now, make sure to keep your eye out on the website, the YouTube, and the blog for more guides, videos, and articles of interest about God Strike. Thank you so much for listening.